Thank you for taking the time to watch this quick three to five minute demonstration on StorageCraft virtual boot technology. So what we're going to do is we've had a server crash, so we need to get this server up and running as quickly as possible. So we're going to browse our network to go to our image repository. The image repository is where we save all our backups. So you can see we have a file server 01, double click. You can see that this is a quite a substantial server. It's a 1.3 terabyte server. So we scroll down through our backup images, scroll down to our last backup image, because of course we've just had a hardware failure, so we want to lose as little data as possible. So we'll go to our last incremental backup from 15 minutes ago. Now of course, if we've had a virus or a corruption of our database, we could go back 15 minutes, we could go back 30 minutes, we could go back 45 minutes, etc. In this case, we've had a hardware failure, so we want to lose as little data as possible, so we'll go back to 15 minutes ago, do a right mouse click, go to virtual boot, follow the wizards. We can see that this is a bootable volume. We can also add additional image files if we need to. So for example, if this is our C volume and we need to restore our D volume as well, we can add our D volume. Or if this is a database server, for example, an Exchange, SQL, SharePoint, Oracle, etc., we could add the C volume, the D volume, and say the E, file, e volume, which would be our log files. Click Next. Select the operating system that we want, that the server is, so we know it's a server 2003. We give it a name, so we'll call this our DR server. Oops. DR server. We'll give it 2048 meg of memory. Notice there's an advanced button. Go to the advanced demonstration to find out the features included here. Click next, click finish. We're now starting the restore process, restoring the server back to its exact state from 15 minutes ago, or in this case from 7.30 this morning when we had our hardware failure. As you can see, we're starting our HIR, or Hardware Independent Restore. This is the world-class technology that StorageCraft have become the established leader in of providing the ability to do a physical to physical, physical to totally different physical environment, physical to virtual, virtual to virtual, or virtual back to physical. So as you can see, what we're in the process of doing is searching for the required device drivers in order to complete the migration, in this case going from a physical to a virtual environment, which is also our disaster recovery environment. In a few seconds, you'll see us starting to do the installation of all the required drivers. Once we finish the installation of these drivers, we'll then start our virtual environment. You'll notice that we've actually selected the Sun Virtual Box or the Oracle Enterprise Virtual Infrastructure Technology. The reason for this is, is it's shareware and it's very low cost. Essentially, I believe it's something in the region of $50 per production system, making it a very low cost alternative to a, the traditional virtualization platforms. Now, bear in mind, this is a temporary environment. This is not a permanent migration into a Sun environment. And you'll see us in just a couple of seconds starting our virtual environment. Here we go. So we're creating our virtual environment and we're now getting ready to log into the server. So the total time for this process typically is three to five minutes to get a server fully restored back to the exact state that it was from 15 minutes ago, delivering a very rapid, very fast disaster recovery. So now all we need to do is uh, log into the server. So in Sun or the Oracle Virtual Infrastructure, use the right control key with the delete key. That'll get us into the login prompt and type in our password. And the reason for the failure is we'll say it's a hardware failure or it's a system unresponsive. And type in a comments field, hit OK. And the system is restored back to the exact state that it was at 7.30 this morning, 15 minutes ago, delivering a very powerful, very fast, very easy to use disaster recovery solution. Now, a couple of things to bear in mind is we'll restore it back using all the drivers. It will now go through its fine tuning of additional drivers. You may need to still go through into some further fine tuning of some of the key drivers, etc. But what this has done, it's really fast tracked the process of getting us back after a disaster has struck. Now we'll also need to go in and assign the IP address to the network cards, see the section, see the um, IP address video, which we'll go through that in more detail. And of course we'll have to reboot the server 
and we'll be back into full production. Anyway, thank you very much for taking the time and hopefully you'll enjoy the next video in this series.